gonna take you around and show you all of the Class B vans at the Tampa RV show. But we are gonna start with Winnebago. Why? Because that's what we've got, of course. We have a Travato, and we're gonna show you the new 2023 Travatos. There are two floor plans. There is the G and the K. We have the K, so let's start there. Just an FYI, anytime you see an L on any of these vans, that means lithium. So that means the van has more solar, has lithium batteries, and no generator. This is the floor plan that we know and love, but there are different finishings in this one. So I'm not sure if the finishings are different because it's just a 2023 model or because it's the KL lithium model, but it does have a different vibe in here. It's got the dark wood with the white doors. Um, but other than that, pretty much the same as what we've got in our 2022. And this is the G model. So you can see it is a totally different floor plan than the K. This one has seating back here. So it's got a little mini dinette. It's got a flip up corner bed. So if you need lots of storage, then this one is good for you because you can put your bike inside or a kayak or whatever you wanna bring. There is a huge debate between Travato owners if the K or the G is better, and whichever one you own is the one you're gonna vote for, obviously. But check this one out. has come out with a brand new color this year. I'm calling it tomato red. I'm not sure what the actual color it is. It looks orange in this light, <laughs> but last night when we seen it, it looked red, red, red. So what do you think of this color? So Winnebago has quite a few vans to choose from. We have the Travato, but as you can see on here, there are three different types of, of the Solus. There is the Revel, there is the Era, the Bolt, and the Adventure Wagon. My goodness, that color though, it is strong. Man, what were they thinking? Nah, I'm not a fan. Do you like it? If you like it, leave a comment. I can't find a sticker that tells me what color, so we're gonna go with tomato, tomato, tomato red. This is the Winnebago era, and this floor plan is a bit of a puzzle to me. So, you can, carry four people these seats turn around so that makes a nice little social area you've got a nice little sofa back here so again a nice little social area this feels more like a transportation party wagon than sleeping because you've only got the one sofa that makes into a bed i don't know what do y'all think about this one it's different drive Revel. I'm a sucker for the way these things look on the outside, but on the inside, they're a little congested for me. But hey, to each their own. It's a real rugged unit. Definitely made for a single person, maybe a couple that are very adventurous, outdoorsy, um, like to hike and bike because it's got a little garage here. You can bring your bikes very very active people this would be the perfect rig for you but i love the way they look on the outside 
And here's the Winnebago Stolas. So this is kind of what I think of when I think of van life is one of these with the pop tops. So this is a smaller unit than the Travato. Um, it's shorter in length, but has that bed on top and a bed in the back. And this is one of those kind of rugged ones too that has lots of different storage. One thing I'll say that's cool is Winnebago is doing this national parks overlay on some of their units. And so it's got a different paint job on the outside, different graphics. It's kind of neat. Yeah, a little special. Yeah. I love these little vans. So this is a Thor Rise. It's an 18A, it's only 18 foot long. It's got one of the little sky bunks that pop up on the top for a couple of small kids. It sits on a, a Pro Max Dodge Ram chassis. Great little vehicle. I love this thing. It's little, but it's cool. Refrigerator, sink, bed, sky bunk, wet bath. It's got passenger seating, little table, everything you need. Look at all the vans. Here we are at Thor. We got the Sanctuary 4x4. We got the scope. We got the sequence. So many vans to choose from just here at Thor. Now we are at Jayco. Let's check out the vans here. So we have a Solstice, which is on a Ford Transit chassis. It has the dualies, all wheel drive. We have a Swift here that has the Sky Bonk, which I really, really love. Uh, it's on a Pro Max, Dodge Ram Pro Max chassis. Got another Swift here and a Terrain 4x4 for all you off-roaders. This thing is cool looking. Let's check them out. Okay, this is the Solstice 21B. Let's give it a look. All right, so this one is the Jayco Terrain. It's four wheel drive. And this model is the 19Y. Let's check it out. celebrity now. sighting here oh my goodness how are you guys i'm not gonna make you do the jump thing don't worry oh, about man, it I can't oh god <laughs> okay the gallery is a nice pretty good sized van here uh sits on a mercedes sprinter chassis dually it's got the side wet bath. It has Corian countertops. It's got rear bed. Pretty nice rig. So Thor's most popular van is the Sequence, which is built on the Dodge Ram chassis. They've got several different floor plans of this. 
This one right here is the L, which is the twin bed model, which obviously is our favorite because that's what we have in the Winnebago Toronto. Check it out. interesting this one also has the rear bath like we like but the layout is different on the inside and there is a sofa that makes into a bed instead of the two twin beds is not just for couples anymore now they're building these that have two seats in the back and a pop-up bed on top so you can bring your kids along this is really really neat that bed up there If you want to go off-roading, you got the Sanctuary four-wheel drive for those who like to go off-road. to go a little bit smaller than the sequence Thor also has the scope and several different floor plans and this is on an 18 foot van 18 G 18 and that that's tiny I like it <laughs> so this is a uh, Zion slumber by Road Trek. Uh, it is a 21 foot van, pretty similar to what we have, except it has the sky bunk, which would be great for like the grandkids. If you got a couple of kids with you, they have a nice place to sleep. This is really cool.
Well, we wouldn't be doing a good job showing all the vans if we didn't show all the vans. So now we are doing the more luxury vans. These are Pleasure Way. And did you know that Airstream doesn't just do the old school silver bullets, they do vans too. Very high end, very good quality. Let's go look at them. Obviously, we did not get to every single B van on the lot at the Super Show, but we did show you quite a few. We would be here like all day and all next week if we tried to record every single one because there's so many different versions. But from what you could see, there's kind of like maybe four or five floor plans that you're going to see throughout all of them. You're going to see some that sleep too, some that have that extra seating and that pop top to sleep a family all really cool so i like seeing the different varieties of vans out there let us know which one your favorite is obviously ours is the winnebago travado 59k because that's the one we've got but be curious to see what you think um, if you're new to this channel please leave a comment down below and subscribe hit that notification bell and we will see you next time bye